Is now a good time to buy a home in Las Vegas? Well, that's what I'm talking about today. I'm starting right now. everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I hope everyone's doing well. Today is March 1st, and I just wanted to go over what's going on with the Las Vegas real estate market, and if it is a good time to buy right now for spring 2021. My answer, it's not a definitive answer, it's yes, and no, okay? <laughs> and the reason I'm saying no is because of the lack of inventory that we do have here in the Las Vegas Valley. I pulled some numbers up that I thought was important to go over. In the entire Las Vegas Valley, including Henderson, there are 2,811 single family homes, condos, and townhomes listed for sale. Then I thought, well, you know what? There are quite a few tenant occupied homes that are listed for sale that technically we kind of can't really sell or they've been on the market for a while or also that their lease doesn't expire till next year or whatever it may be. There are 795 tenant occupied homes for sale. So that brings that number down to 2016 single family homes condos and townhomes in all of Las Vegas. Of course, I didn't parse it down further to how many single family homes there were, but 2000 homes for sale in all of Las Vegas with a total population of over 2 million. It's kind of crazy if you ask me. So what does that mean? Well, one, expect a lot of bidding wars. And you know, Las Vegas across the country, they're going through the same problem with very low inventory. Our inventory cannot support the influx of people who want to come and relocate to Vegas. And I've done several videos on why Vegas is a great place to live, why you should move to Vegas, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But <laughs> we don't have enough inventory to support you guys for, who want to relocate here to Vegas. <laughs> and even new home constructions feeling the pinch with limited inventory limited releases on lots, et cetera, et cetera. I just did a video, pay attention to that. So what does this mean really as a buyer? If you have cash, then you're fine. Okay. But if you are a local buyer that wants to buy a home this year or this spring, at least in Las Vegas, it's going to be hard. And I know as a real estate agent, I should not be saying this. However, I, I think everyone should know, you know, yeah, this may hurt my sales, but ultimately I'm looking out for everyone's best interests. My local buyers cannot compete right now with the market. They just can't. And all my local buyers or the good chunk of my local buyers are financing. And so the homes that they're going up against have multiple offers and mostly cash buyers bidding 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 over asking price. You are a local person in Las Vegas and want to buy right now. My advice to you is I would wait. Hopefully in six months, we'll have more inventory. Hopefully the sellers will get it and come out and play and want to list their homes. But if we continue the route that, that we're going with very little inventory and still people wanting to relocate here, the prices are going to go crazy. They're already crazy. Um, I should be doing the monthly market update soon, but my last monthly market update, the medium sales price for single family homes alone was 345,000. So I have a feeling that that number for March has gone up tremendously. Now, if you're a cash buyer and you want to buy here in Vegas, expect to go against multiple offers. I had a client that wanted to make an offer on a home that was listed at 460,000. We offered 501,000 and still lost out on the bid. So that's what 41,000 
over asking price, that's crazy. <laughs> cray, 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 cray. If you are relocating here to the Valley and want to buy in Las Vegas, expect to do multiple offers. Now there are several different ways of winning that offer. Um, quite a few of my clients have actually won in the multiple offer situation. If you are financing, you're going to have to waive the appraisal contingency. You're going to have to waive the loan contingency. And sometimes the sellers don't have a place to go. So they need time to find a new home. You may have to rent back. You may have to um, let the sellers rent back for a month or two until they can find their new home. Are you okay with that? If you're okay with that, then hey, let's go make an offer right now. Basically, a home is valued as to what someone's willing to pay for it, regardless of what the comps are, is what you're willing, what a buyer's willing to pay is what the value of the home is in the end. Um, so ultimately, if you're a local buyer, I stress waiting. And we don't know when inventory is gonna come on the market traditionally it's the spring selling season traditionally the sellers come out and play traditionally we have a lot more inventory compared to years past where we had at least 7,000 homes on the market now we're down to only a little over 2,000 that's not a lot no not at all <laughs> again if you're a local buyer I highly suggest waiting this out Hopefully in the next few months, things will come into play. Another thing why we have less inventory is one, the sellers. Where are they gonna go? They're gonna be buying a home that's more money and probably a lateral move. So why would you wanna sell your home and buy another home that's comparable to the home that they're living in right now? Two, obviously we have the C word still going on. A lot of people don't want people traipsing in their house, coming in their house and spreading germs. And three is the whole rental moratorium. Sellers have their homes listed, but they can't technically sell them because they have renters in place. And as a buyer, who wants to take on a property that has a renter in place, especially with the whole rental eviction moratorium going on? Now Biden has extended a lot of forbearance until the end of June and also the eviction moratorium to the end of June. He's probably going to extend it again. Not until this whole C word is completely done. I think for th this whole year, it's going to be like this. I think we are not going to see much people coming out to play. And I think it's sad, but then also too is where the seller is going to go. Even if they go out of state, everywhere across the country is experiencing the same issues as, as Las Vegas. It's not just a Las Vegas thing. If you're thinking about relocating and you want to get out of the city or state that you live in and you want to buy a home in Las Vegas, I just want to let you know to expect to pay more, offer more, go into a bidding war and maybe not even win that bidding war. Just food for thought on that. Do you want to go through it? <laughs> uh, you know, obviously we can still find some good deals, but the hot areas are selling fast. They're listed uh, and within hours they have multiple offers and under contract. <laughs> so, or what I've noticed is that the sellers are listing on Thursday and they wait the whole weekend to accept all the offers. And then on Monday they'll make their decision. So if you want to buy in Las Vegas, you need to produce your highest and best offer and what you're willing to negotiate and give up. Maybe let the sellers rent back for a couple months. Maybe waive the HOA fee transfer fees or the property tax transfer fee, whatever it is to make your offer stand out above and beyond everyone else's offer. If you're financing, like I said, waive the appraisal contingency, waive the loan contingency, and maybe don't ask for the sellers to pay for a home warranty. Make your offer as clean and as simple as possible. That's all I have to say about it. It's crazy. You sellers, come out and play, please. We need listings. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Las Vegas Valley, you know who to call, right? Me, 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 702. 370-5112 and make sure you hit that thumbs up button 
leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button because I talk a lot about Las Vegas, Las Vegas neighborhoods, and of course, Las Vegas real estate. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you guys on the next one.